Hello folks, Jose here again for another tutorial for uh, WPBasics.org and in this tutorial I'm going to show you an easy way to create a widget area for you to put whatever content you like. In this case we're going to be using a, uh, the widget area to display an advertisement but you could really use it to put any content that you would like. In this example we're using Metro, the Metro Pro theme and I've inserted this little advertisement here that normally doesn't appear and um, that you can use as well. So uh, let's get started. Well, let's uh, rip out this uh, all this code and I'm gonna show you how to do this from scratch. So as you can see, I've ripped out all the code now and the advertisement is no longer there. And our first objective is to register the widget area so that we have a widget area somewhere here that we could drag our widgets to. So the first thing we need to do then is go to our uh, text editor and we need to register a widget area. So we'll just call this before content and before content. Uh, in this case, it's the Metro Pro theme. And don't worry about memorizing this code. Try to pay attention more about as to how it works more than anything. And let's just save this and see what we have so far. So let's go back here. So if we refresh this, we can see that this already appears. Now an easy trick to do so you don't have to memorize this code is to find your um, theme and most likely it already has widget areas such as this one, see here. You could easily just copy this, paste it here and just uh, rename uh, what you need to, uh, a few things there like you would rename the before content and this this uh, the name of it and you can put in your own description but that's an easy way to do it I just happen to have it programmed so that it's a little faster for me so now that we have it registered the, uh, the next thing we want to do is we want to um, add an action action so what we this is gonna let us hook into a um, into one of the hooks from Genesis. So we have to go back to our web page first of all. And we're gonna go here. And I have a little dandy uh, plugin called Visu the Visual Hook Guide. And I have a tutorial on that. And if you wanna learn more about it, go to my website, I'll have a link for that there. So what we wanna do is click on this thing here, Action Hooks. Give me a second while I just get fix that. It's doing that because I put this code in and it's, it's confusing the computer, so let's just get rid of it. That should fix it. Okay, so we wanna do the, see the visual hook guide. So we wanna put the advertisement somewhere around here. So let's copy this hook. Okay, copy that. Go back here, now let's add our action. So let's put that, give me one second, in quotes, paste that in, put a comma, and then we gotta name our, our <coughs> pardon me, our, our widget that we're gonna call it. So just put your first two initials, is always a good idea, and then you can call it whatever you want. I'll just call it uh, before con, yeah, con, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That should do it. And then let's close that off. And then what we want to do is we want to create a function. Function. And then what we want to do just to make sure we don't make any mistakes. Copy this because that's the name of the function we're hooking in. Okay. Paste it here. Put a little space. Okay. And then just move this up so you can see better okay so now whatever code we put in here is going to uh, appear so now we're gonna put a little code just to display our widget area let me just tab this over so it's neater okay tab that no display widget area so all we have to do now is in here put in the name of our our 
you pardon me before content is what we called the widget area sorry about my my voice i have a bit of a cold right now there you go let's get rid of some of these spaces okay save that okay and let's go back to our web page and see if we got that there give me a second so let's refresh this page and there's a little bit of an error on line 155 it says so let me just take care of that right now give me one second while i fix that so here we go i, I put a dash here instead of an underscore by mistake so let's fix that yeah they don't want you to put dashes let's save that and if we go here nothing appears yet because it, it's empty right here so let's say we wanted to put an advertisement we would go to our you know affiliate page or whatever you have a copy copy your the code that they provide and then just go to your widget area paste it in now it's supposed to look like this so let's have a look if that works for us we refresh it let's get rid of this and we clear it and there you have it so now this is going to appear on the front page if we check out the other pages you can see it's not there now let's say you wanted it the opposite where you didn't want it on the front page you wanted it in the inside the single posts so all you have to do is change the hook so you have to just use your visual hook guide again go into your action hooks find where you want it to enter so let's say we want it to end be right here right before the content so just copy this this uh, hook go back into our our, our uh, text editor and we're just all we have to do is change this oops give me a second it's giving me a hard time there there change this hook so we replace it let's save that and let's go back to our page and let's close this clear it so you can see it's not there but if we scroll down it's down there the problem is that see alt in order to fix that that's fairly easy the default um what's it called the default i think it's priority for lack of a better word is 10. so if if the if the widget that is already there is a 10 and the one that you put in doesn't have a, a priority defined that one's a 10 also so then what basically happens it, it displays in the sequence that it's entered so this was entered after the default text so it that's why it shows up here uh, at the bottom now to change that we can just change the priority so just put a right here in your action at the end just put a comma now I said the priority was uh, 10 so let's make it a 9 one just one below the default okay then we save that and if we go back here we now have the advertisement before the content and we can see here that it's no longer on the home page now there are a bunch of things you can do and to control uh, where it appears you could even control on which posts it appears but i think that's enough to get you going so i, I hope you like this uh, tutorial if you have any questions or any comments just leave them in the, in the comment section and i'll reply to them as soon as you can don't forget to like don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you later Bye bye